like I said, it was it's warning shots. But I think the problem is is that the genie has been let out of the bottle. Well, for, first of all, if you look at the movies, because we were taking a look at the movies from last year for 2010, and out of the top ten movies, seven. Se yeah, seven of them were in 3D. Yep. That hit the top ten. And of the all the all the movies that are making a billion bucks are 3D. They're all 3D movies that are making a billion dollars. Now, granted, they showed in 3D as well as 2D, but 3D help leads the way. And also, as far as the studios are concerned, it also gives them an additional revenue stream they didn't have before. Yeah. For example, for the DVD releases, where they have a 3D version, a 2D version, the director's cut, the writer's cut, you know what I mean, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. I, I can guarantee you, it does not make a darn bit of difference how much money you're making out of this country. If it won't make any money here, they don't make the movie. I mean, I worked on a series called Due South, which was a god-awful popular series in Canada. Uh, and uh, the problem was, they, it didn't work in the United States. So what did they do? It was popular in Canada, the English loved it. They canceled it because it didn't work in the United States. The Avengers was another example. That's coming out again. Yeah, but The Avengers was really popular in England, but it wasn't as popular here, so they just canceled it. You know, they would bring it out, you know, like in the summer for like 13 episodes and then, you know, put it away. But, um, it, it, okay, so I guess three quarters of the money on every movie that is out now is made out of this country. 3D is massive out of the United States. It is huge. In China alone, I think there's 10 million TV sets and 100 and some TV stations geared for 3D. Yeah. So, um, and then there, there's people like us. We are the largest supplier of 3D material in the world. We do, you know, we're doing 14 plus hours a week and we're getting ready to increase it more. You know, and we actually, we do have the capability of doing it more than the attic lift style. We do it because it's the most readily available form of glasses. And most people don't have, okay, I'm going to show people See this. This is actually a 3D computer. Mm -hmm. I can run 3D movies in various forms. But I, can run it with, I can run it without the glasses, folks, mm -hmm. on this computer, without glasses on this. But how do you do that? Because it's, it's, it's software and, and the, the screen. Well, the same way we do it on our cell phone. Yeah, same way. We've got two cameras that basically we can see 3D on. But our cell phones, we know, we, we've got brand new um, LG Thrill cell phones that basically really do great 3D. I mean, the sound quality is a lot better than what I thought outside. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, it is the genie is out of the bottle. Once the genie is out of the bottle, you're not going to put it back in because look at all, you know, all, you know, uh, you know, back in, you know, the Tales of Arabian Nights, it took forever to get that genie back in. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been in there for a thousand years, and I'm well, not... Well, part of it is they have discovered the additional revenue stream of 3D. Yeah, and it is a big revenue stream. But they're trying, we're going to make the Americans pay four or five dollars a pair of glasses. Well, they're not going to do it. They're already paying, a, okay, what's it cost us to go to a movie? I mean, it, um, Cost us uh, tickets. Well, we can, we for can example, if you see a, a 3D movie for two people, yeah. it's going to cost you about 30, 32, 33, to 4 dollars. Yeah, it costs right? half that. Plus, plus something popcorn and drinks. Yeah. Right? So that's just the tickets alone. That's, I know. So uh, a family of four cannot afford to go to the movies anymore. It can't be done. It's, this is the, the first time in history that, that since they've been doing you know, all these statistics that the, um, the Generally, what happens in bad times, the entertainment dollar actually goes higher. You get more money, more spent on entertainment because people are wanting something else to do. They're not because theater prices are too high. They don't even go to the beach anymore, for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so what do you think is going to result from all of this? Um, what's going to happen is that um, the theater owners are going to basically get rid of the, the 3D lenses and just go back to 2D. Or you're going to have people like us who are going to suggest, well, hell, we'll pay for the glasses. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, you run my movie, I'll pay for the glasses. You know, what's it going to cost me? Oh, here they said, well, here's, a, here's the big trick. For a non-studio motion picture, it's only one to two million dollars for glasses. Well, maybe it's because they're not doing as many. They're doing the same release date, the same oh. release size. How can a non-studio production that ends up in 3,000 theaters 
in this country only cost one to two million, and of studio production ends up in the same amount as theaters cost five to ten million. Good question. Uh huh. And remember, Hollywood has been known for. I mean, the Academy Academy Award winner, Emmy winner, Cliff Robertson, who died last week basically fought the studio system on bookkeeping. Their bookkeeping was always that, uh, one, they never make any money. I mean, uh, Robert Wagner was another one of them. Robert Wagner basically fought them because, and other things making money. Just making money hands over fist. How can you tell me it will? Because the bookkeeping shows that so you have to run at least seven years to make the money back. And he said, no, if someone makes it's the number one show on television, it's making money, I can count. You know, it's making so much money, you're having to give raises to everybody. <coughs> and, uh, and, and they're in sentence on like a zillion, I mean, some people actually do can add and subtract. They're, basically, they're not Democrats, <coughs> but they can add and subtract and um, multiply and they can figure it out. This thing here, like I said, there's, the people in this country are not going to pay for glasses to go see a movie. Well, you know, part of it is we have our own glasses, but part, here's... I mean, we review the glasses, we review how it looks in the different glasses. Yeah. So our situation's a little bit different. But part of it is for most people, they can't even buy the glasses anywhere. That's right. Uh, you can basically, I mean, Monster sells glasses, Gunner sells glasses, but they're all... But Monster's glasses are for the home theater. Yeah. Gunner has some. I've seen them for the computer usage. I have not seen them for 3D usage. No, but... Um, but I mean, if you go out to buy a 3D glasses of any type, you only, other than the Gunner, you cannot find, um, you know, the static, the passive glasses. Because I've gone into the lens crafter stores, yeah. right, or some of the sunglass stores. I haven't seen them. Yeah. Part of it is we know that they're coming out, that we've been talking to the companies. But as far as distribution? Well, we actually have some prototypes. That mm -hmm. Basically, we assumed that what happened was in this system, they decided not to go. Because we go in and ask, well, we understand they're coming. Well, no, because we have the prototypes. Well, and... <laughs> we have the prototypes, folks. They're not coming. So we won't tell you the brand, but we do have the prototypes. So since just, we've got the prototypes, we know they are going into the stores. Well, I, and I've seen them recently. And just like, but uh, you know, no, but uh, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to cost... Um, they can't... The, the, the theaters cannot make... They cannot cover the cost selling four to five dollars a set of glasses because that's going to be an extra ticket right there. See, here's part of it is, I mean, we have some ourselves, but if I was looking at it, see, part of the idea before is you wanted, the idea of having your own glasses was because, number one, is you didn't want to reuse the same glasses everybody was having, yeah. using, right? But now since they're sealed, yeah. right, they're kind of sanitary, so you get to watch them. Um, or you have some clean ones. Yeah. <clears throat> but utilizing your own glasses it makes sense to me in a couple different ones. One is they, they work as sunglasses as well as 3D glasses because yeah. then you can wear them out. Because part of it is, is otherwise what, you put the, the 3D glasses on in the theater when it's dark and part of the idea of having different sunglasses that are fashionable is that other people can see you, right? Yeah. I walked around with the Gunner glasses <laughs> on over at CES for, you know, I went all over the place with the gunner glasses on and they, you know, they, they don't work, they're not great sunglasses, but inside it stops the glare off of all the stuff that's inside the building. So if you come from outside in, they're sort of great glasses to wear. But um, it's just American, I, I want to know how you can tell a person that mm -hmm. goes to the theater to see a three, I'm, he's just paid his, you know, he's got his family, they just paid a hundred bucks to see the movie. I'm, well, I'm sorry, you're going to have to buy the glasses before you can see the movie. Well, what happens is people just won't see those movies. I know, but they'll also, when that <coughs> person comes not understanding it, you don't think he's going to go, F you? Yeah. I he's, said, he's I'll never be back to this theater he's again. Not, he's not going to be very happy. Right? They're going to happy because, uh, you know, you, that I, I just don't think it's logical to assume that the theater owners, which this is the thing that uh, these people are on the wrong side of the curve this time. The, the president of the United States has label, labeled them, even though they're his supporters of the greedy elite, and he doesn't like Jews, so, mm -hmm. you know, and the, the, so therefore, um, uh, uh, you know, he's gonna, they're gonna stand on, well, I stand on your side against the greedy theater owners who basically, for the most part, are mom and pop stores. They are not chain, they're not company owned businesses, folks. The majority of the theaters in this country are mom and pops. 
there's a little thing, you know, like you go into uh, into a mall and you'll see the, the you know the the one theater in the mall. Are oh those, really? Yeah, that's. Yeah, the like the, they aren't the big chain. No, it's generally a mom and pop store. But um, you put them out of business. You know, they've they've invested everything they can. They're going to go to somebody like us to supply product. Here's the trick: is we're, we're going, you know, I can go off on all this a lot because we've been to a lot of these events that the people that package this stuff simply have said, you know, uh, we can make a sow's ear look like a silk purse, but it's a heck of a lot easier to sell a silk purse. The problem is, is that the movie industry is selling a lot of pure crap. Mm -hmm. And they're wondering why nobody comes. They, you know, they, uh, they overestimate, well, I thought that the, the 3D remake of Conan would be great. No, because it was a glorified made-for-TV movie. The uh, Planet of the Apes is nothing but a TV made for television. They're all people from the sci-fi channel mm -hmm. on that thing. It should not have done as well, but the problem was, if you look what it was up against, there was mm -hmm. nothing against it. If you, got, if you want to get out of the house, which she does like to do all the time, you want to go do something, you, you go pick up you know, the, the best of the bad movies to go see. You know, sometimes they're so bad, like Cowboys and Aliens, that nobody will go see it no matter what. Well, that was a movie that was done in 2D that should have been 3D. Yeah, which will probably be done in 3D because Spielberg is basically uh, 3Ding every. He's going backwards. He's, he's doing, I think, ET and he's redoing ET in 3D. Oh, is he? Or closing calendars and 3D. All these things. They're doing Titanic. Here's a good. One. Titanic is being done in 3D. I mean, we're getting ready right now. You know, to go see uh, uh, IMAX conversions of some movies. But you know, there, there, there's a 3D version of those little beggars coming out soon, too. So that they can re release them. So, the, it is a money thing, and it's a money thing that the companies cannot possibly win. I mean, the, 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 the American, you've basically rang up as much as you're going to be able to charge a person to go to the movies. The popcorn costs too much. I mean, you can go over, you can go buy a thing of candy for ninety-nine cents that they're selling for five, six dollars. You know, the the, you know, the popcorn is. They don't even put the they don't even put the butter on the popcorn. We got to go do it yourself or they're done. Well, they don't know how much you want either. Well, yeah, but they don't do that anymore. But but um, you know, you, you can't get the stuff. I mean, my mother used to my mother used to be in charge of a. She was a vice president of a. Of a, you know, I told you I came from this business. My mother was in charge of the whole Pacific chain. You know, way way back, she was the vice president of you know, you know where Gromish Chinese Theater is. Mm -hmm. You know, was Man mm -hmm. Theaters was bought by Pacific. That's my mother was with Pacific when they took over the thing. So, but um, m my mother would sit there and once again fight tooth and nails about you know. Well, I'm sorry. You know, we can't. You know, you watch a movie in our theaters. You're going to have to give us something to place it in here because we have to put in a new sound system. Mm -hmm. And they say, mm -hmm. well, you know, we can't do that. And then she say, well, we can't run your movie because you need it done in a new sound system. It's just, um, that's the way it works. That's why Fantasia was not popular when it was made. It was made a stereophonic sound and there weren't any theaters that could play Fantasia in. A lot of people create, it's just like they put the cart before the horse. Well, they, you know, it, and it's one of the same things. People do it at home. They're, it's like on the theater on the conversions. They're like, how much money do we need to invest? Well, there's no movies that are out in that, so why should we convert it? Right. Same thing that you're doing at home. Why should we buy a 3D TV when there's not that much content out there? I mean, now gradually there's going to be more and more content, which is good, so you have a reason to buy it. But, you know, you're going to...